I love to have flowers in my garden all year long. And one way to achieve that is to plant a lot of bulbous flowering plants that bloom at different times. Silla Peruviana, also known as Portuguese Quill, is one of them. Uh, it blooms in late winters or early spring when paper white, um, daffodils, hyacinth, tulips, they are on their way out and red lion amaryllis and asiatic lilies, they still have some time to bloom. Hi, this is Ruchi and let's talk about planting Silla Peruviana and taking care of it. I'm going to show you um, all the stages of uh, this plant from bulbs to foliage to blooms to dead foliage uh, over the whole year so that when you uh, plant it in your garden, you can relate to all those stages. Silla Peruviana uh, is a beautiful flower when it blooms, a flower stalk comes out and it doesn't have a few flowers, four, five, eight. It has hundreds of star shaped flowers which start to open from the bottom to the top. And the whole stalk lasts for at least three to four weeks. The advantage of bulbous plants is that you plant them once and they keep producing flowers year after year when the season arrives. And they're pretty much maintenance free. And Silla Peruviana is pretty much the same. These plants have big bulbs. They can be planted anytime between summer and fall. I just dug up these uh, bulbs because, you know, they were getting cluttered here. So now I can plant them elsewhere. As you can see here, there are a lot of small bulbs around these. So they multiply really fast. I mean, I had planted probably eight bulbs here. And this time, you know, they when they started sprouting, there were at least 15 plants over here. So in two years, they multiplied uh, at least doubled in numbers. Now, if I wanted to plant them, I can just take this uh, one bulb and dig up a hole uh, it's about this tall, so the neck should be at the level of the soil. They like shallow planting. Um, you should make sure that the soil should be loose and rich and the location should get at least five to six hours of sun and preferably uh, morning sun because afternoon sun can be really harsh for the strappy leaves or and the flowers of these plants. So just put uh, the root side down and the pointed side up uh, and the pointed side stays at the surface and uh, leave that in the soil. Keep the bulbs uh, about eight inches apart because they multiply very fast. The bulbs start to sprout in fall and at that time you can start to water them. They are winter hardy so you don't need to do much. In late winters uh, you can start fertilizing them with phosphorus rich fertilizer once in two weeks. This will promote good flowers. Soon the flower stalks will start to grow with hundreds of buds. Buds will start to open from the bottom and continue to the top over next few weeks. Once the flowers are spent, cut off the flower stalk from the bottom because you don't want the bulbs to spend energy in forming the seeds. You want plants to store energy in the bulbs for the next season. Continue fertilizing and watering. As the weather starts to become hot, the foliage starts to turn yellow and it dies. At this point, you can cut off the foliage and stop watering it and stop fertilizing it. This is a good time to dig up the bulbs and space them out if it's been a couple of years. So because they multiply really fast, you should dig them up at least once in two years and space them out. Um, for example, I planted probably 10 bulbs here and I can see that there are many more plants that grew this year. And when I dug them up, I saw so many tiny bulbs and if they all start to grow, it will be really crowded. So you can plant the extra bulb somewhere else or make some friends by giving them away to your neighbors. So if you live in cooler zones, you'll have to dig the bulbs out and store them somewhere uh, in a cool place because if the ground freezes, you know, the bulbs will disintegrate. But uh, I'm in zone 9B and here it's not that cold in winter, so I can leave the bulbs in the ground and uh, 
nothing happens to those bulbs. They keep coming back year after year. So that's pretty much it. You know, uh, it requires rich, uh, loose soil for the bulbs to grow. Uh, start watering when the plants are young. Uh, fertilize them uh, even after the flowers have, are dead uh, because you want them to store energy in the bulbs for the next season. And once the foliage dies, you can stop watering or fertilizing them and uh, they'll come back again the, in the next season. So I hope this video was useful to you. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll try to answer as soon as possible. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to share it with your friends and family. And I'll see you next time. Happy gardening. Bye.